my friends, Holly M. Rogan here. Welcome back to my channel. It's really nice to see your face. I've been traveling for the last few weeks and months and I've seen lots of awesome things in nature and different things in the world and I'm really excited to share them with you in my new Critters and Birds 2 book. If you've seen the first one, then you know that it's a rhyming story um, giving you little facts and tidbits about different critters and birds and plants and things in nature. And it's all photography that I've taken. And I'm very proud and excited to show it to you. So this is my second version. Um, I'll leave the links below for all of my books. I have other children's books and coloring books and different things. And the new coloring book for this book will be coming out soon. So let's dive right in. I'm going to read this with you today and I'm very excited to share with you all of the facts that I've learned and I hope that you learned something today too. On the cover of the book, um, there's lots of different animals, um, a little intro to what you're going to see inside. There's bumblebee, there's a cow, there's a hawk, a chicken, a burrow or donkey a hummingbird, a squirrel, there's a vulture, a goldfinch, and a turtle. Let's see what we can learn about all of these critters and birds. When you open the front cover, it says, to little and big nature lovers anywhere and everywhere. I know you're out there. This book belongs to, and this is where you write your name. When you order yours, you can write your name right there. Cows munch, munch, munch on grasses, grains, and hay. Grasses, grains, and hay. They eat all of those things. You can see him eating a piece of grass right there and all the cow butts. How many cows are there? One, two, three, four. I see four cow butts and they're all bent over eating the grass. Munch, 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 munch. Do you munch your food when you chew? Goldfinches eat musk thistle seeds on a hot summer day. There's the goldfinch. And all the seeds inside the flower is what he's eating. There's a female goldfinch too. When box turtles get scared, they hide in their shell. Do you hide when you're scared? He's lucky he has a whole little place he can hide right connected to his body. His little house on his back. Grasshoppers use camouflage to be hidden as well. Do you see the grasshopper? There's one there too, hiding on the leaf. They use the colors of their body to blend in with nature. Pilated woodpeckers make homes in dead trees. See the big woodpecker with the big red head? That's called a crop. He with his beak and he makes big holes. He nests inside and he eats the worms and the bugs in the tree. Hummingbirds build their nests with spider webs and dead leaves. They use lots of different things to build their nests. See the little hummingbird? That's a little nest that I found when I was in Las Vegas. The eggs were no bigger than my pinky nail and the whole nest was as big as a chicken egg. It was so cute. Vultures fly in circles to look for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Vultures eat dead animals. So they find carcasses on the ground and they circle them. And then they come down and they eat them together. If you ever see them flying in the sky, that's what they're doing. Orb weaver spiders are professional web spinners. Do you see the, the web that the spider made? Spider webs are cool. They're strong and they catch bugs so the spiders can eat. Yellow crown night herons catch crabs in the sand. He caught a crab. Wild burrows graze on open grasslands. 
Those are like donkeys. They eat the grass like the cows do. Bumblebees drink sweet nectar from fragrant flowers. Mm, see the pretty flowers that they drink the nectar from? Finches dance and play in April rain showers. Look at the birds playing on the fence. They have a little string in their mouth. It's raining. Dandelions blow away to spread seeds and grant wishes. Have you ever wished on a dandelion? What did you wish for? There's so many wonderful things to wish for. Look into the water. Can you see the pretty fishes? Do you see them? They're swimming, using their gills to breathe. White antelope squirrels live in a desert habitat. They live in the desert. See him blending in just like the grasshoppers did in the rocks? He's hard to spot, huh? That's a desert habitat in the mountains the sand and the rocks. Mallard ducks live by the water where it's dry and flat. That's a male mallard duck and a female and they're flying. Starlings like to show off when they have pretty things. Do you see him showing off his little branch that he caught? He's showing off and seeing who he can attract. Just like the male mockingbird, he struts for mates and opens up his wings. He dances on the ground to attract a mate too. They do the same thing, just in a different way. Moss flourishes on surfaces like trees and rocks. Maybe if you go outside today, you'll see moss too. There's all different types of moss, all different colors. Maybe you can find some. Birds of prey are hunters like ospreys and hawks. They catch things like squirrels or other birds or rabbits and bring them to their nest to feed their babies. Ospreys are birds that live by the water. Hawks live in trees. On the farm, the chickens cluck and the roosters crow. Have you ever heard chicken or a rooster or seen one? That's the rooster and that's the chicken. The female and the male. Springtime is when all of the pretty flowers grow. You can see all the flowers grow out of the ground from when the snow melts. If you don't have snow where you are, you do see flowers grow is still the same. You can see all the colors of nature start to show their face. Purple flowers here and yellow tulips. Wave to the critters, bugs, plants, and birds. Now it's time to go. Say goodbye to all of the new things you've learned, all the friends you've made. I hope that you learned something today. I'm really excited that I got to share that story with you. It makes me feel happy and full of love. And I hope that I added some joy to your day and that if you do get a chance to go to my Amazon page, you can find my other books. Soon I'm gonna be releasing a coloring book to go with this book as I have with my first Critters and Birds book. So you can color as you read along. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and I appreciate you checking in and seeing my videos and just having some fun with me. Have a great day.